guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin this whole story would begin when goku master the ultra instinct against moro and be able to finish with it in which Whis would offer to give him a new training to take the Ultra Instinct to the level of a Guardian Angel. Mr. Goku, I offer to give you the training beyond that of a god. A state beyond that of a god? I don't understand exactly what you mean, but if it'll help me become stronger, of course I'll do it. The state beyond a god is the Ultra Instinct, but I will help you reach the level of a Guardian Angel with the Ultra Instinct. Oh! I understand, Whis. Of course I want that training. I really appreciate it. Whis would take Goku to the planet of Beerus, where both would begin their great training. However, this did not seem to some deities, which were Daishenkin, Miris, and Beerus, who began to observe Goku as an extremely dangerous being. However, Daishenkin together with Miris were devising a plan to finish or seal Son Goku and Whis, which was the Supreme Angel. That's right, Whis was the most powerful angel of the 12 universes, and unlike his father Daishenkin, Whis loved life. If Whis, my son Goku, released 100% of his ability as a Saiyan warrior, this would be very serious for us, so we can't allow this. The power of Whis has grown in an amazing way. In these hundreds of years that we have not seen each other, but the power of this mortal is what worries me the most. Without being a god, he has been able to reach this level. Returning to the planet of Beerus, Goku was already able to access the Ultra Instinct at will. However, the time in which he was able to keep active was only one hour. After this time, he needed a full day to recover completely. Wow, the power I've achieved has been amazing. I can't believe it. But all this has been thanks to you, Whis. Don't take credit to yourself, Mr. Goku, since your learning ability is amazing. No divine being, be it god or angel, no one has that level, only you. Goku at that moment would give a big smile. That's right, however at that instant, Beerus would approach both of them a little bit seriously. Hey Goku, why do you want to become more powerful? Do you want my position as the god of destruction? No, of course not Mr. Beerus. The only thing I want is to surpass my power as a Saiyan and be able to protect the entire Universe 7. Beerus at that moment would change his mind, realizing Goku would never do anything against him. However, at that moment, a portal would be created in the entire planet of Beerus, from which would come out Miris and Daishenkin-sama. But if it's Daishenkin-sama, has the king of everything Xenosama organized another tournament? However, at that moment, Whis, with a great speed, would send Goku to fly with a strong blow. At that moment, a great explosion would be created where Goku was. Whis, at that moment, with a great speed of reaction, Goku, his Bakulo, would make Goku recover all his power. At that moment, even Beerus would be Pondra in front of Daishenkin and Miris, releasing great part of his destructive power. Father, what has happened? Has Lord Goku committed a fault against you? Of course not, but the power of that simple mortal is capable of being compared to the deities like us. We can't allow his power to continue to grow. Goku at that instant would access the Ultra Instinct, and in the same way, he would stand next to Whis and Beerus. With a very serious look, he would observe both angels. What the hell's wrong with you? I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't disrespected you. Of course you have disrespected the gods. Since a simple mortal like you is capable of using a technique that not even the gods are capable of activating. Or am I wrong, Beerus gods? Beerus at that moment would say absolutely nothing. But father, Lord Goku is the purest being with the purest heart I've ever known. He would never be able to do anything against the gods. That is your mistake, Wiss. You always trust others quickly, but we'll seal this saying so that he'll reflect that he should not have overcome the power of a god. That will not only happen if you defeat me, I know you're more powerful than me, but you will not defeat me without a fight. If they want to take Goku, they'll have to finish me too. Beerus at a great speed would throw himself against Miris. Goku without wasting time would support Beerus, while Whis and Daishenkin would stare at each other. Father, I know that in his heart there was a little bit of evil, but I never thought that his selfishness would be so much that he would want to seal or end the life of Lord Goku. Whis, you are the right one to be the high priest, but that pathetic heart makes you a weak being. In this world, the only one who survives is a strong one. 
since the weak one will always die. You're wrong, father. Since the strong are also there to protect the weak, just because you have the power doesn't mean you can crush the rest. At that moment, both angels in the same way had lodged one against the other, starting a great battle. However, the difference was abysmal since Daishankin was only playing with Wiss. However, in that moment of battle, Wiss would increase his power to the maximum, which he had also obtained in his training with Goku, managing to hit him with a strong blow which would send him flying all over the universe. While Goku and Beerus were a little even with Miris, but this time, the more worrying thing was Goku's power. Since the more battle went on, his time was getting shorter and shorter. Beerus, we can't waste time. We must even help Whis. I agree with you, Goku, but he's an angel. We don't have enough power to do anything about it. Beerus, please stall him for 20 seconds so I can concentrate a lot of my energy with this hit. I should be able to knock him out. Okay, Goku, but don't let it be more than 30 seconds. Because if it's much more, Miris will pulverize me. Beerus, with his maximum power, would throw himself against Miris with the intention of entertaining him. But in those 23 seconds that Goku gathered all his power, Beerus had received the beating of his life. That's right, Miris had used Beerus as a punching bag, which even almost left him unconscious. But his spirit as a warrior was much more powerful than that. You pathetic angel! I realize that your power is amazing, but it doesn't compare to mine. You've been a good punching bag. However, at that moment, all over Universe 7, the silhouette of an Ultra Instinct Goku maximum power would be observed, which would say to Miris, Receive this! Dragon Punch! At that moment, a gigantic dragon had emerged from the fist of Goku, which gave off an amazing power. Miris, observing this, would try to dodge it, but the pressure of Goku's blow had grown hundreds of times, which would make Miris look slow against it, being impossible to dodge his blow. Ah, 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 it hurts. It hurts a lot. A miserable mortal. I'll end you. I'll end your pathetic life. At that moment, the dragon would go around the entire Universe 7, and due to the resistance of the angel Miris, he would not lose his life, but he had been left out of combat. Goku and Beerus at that moment observed the battle of Whis against Daishenken, which was losing completely. Mr. Beerus, I have an idea. I'll buy you some time and Mr. Whis to merge, and it's the only way to do it. Goku, does shake it'll pulverize you. I know I can handle it. Do it, Mr. Beerus. Goku at that moment would get to the middle of the battle, which Beerus had already communicated his plan to Whis telepathically. At that moment, Goku would start attacking Dai Shanken, who without any difficulty dodged and blocked each one of his hits. I find it incredible to know that Miris lost against you two. That clears my doubts. You are Goku. You are dangerous. Whis and Beerus would quickly make the fusion, having a complete success. At that moment, a giant power would be felt all by the universes that had been caught Daishaken's attention. Whose power is this? It's unbelievable this power it gives off. At that moment, I would observe how in front of them, a new subject had appeared. That's right, it was the fusion of Beerus and Whis. I'm the angel born in the underworld. Since I possess destructive energy, in the same way I'm known as Weirus, the dominator of beasts. Ha ha ha! Don't say stupid things. Don't think that just by merging you'll have the necessary power to face me. However, at that precise moment, Daishenko would be sent flying with a great blow. Weirus, with his great power, would make Goku recover quickly. At that moment, both began to fight against Daishenko, which this time, if he had some problems to face both, since Goku recovered, he had had a great Zenkai. I'm tired of your stupidities. You have an incredible power, but I'm the great priest. You're not able to do anything against me. Daishenko, at that moment, would increase a great part of his power beginning to equal them, even surpassing them. Weirus would communicate with Goku telepathically. Goku, Daishaken will defeat us, but if he does, we must take him with us. Are you willing to do anything? That's right! I don't think this bastard will make fun of us. At that moment, Goku would fall to the ground out of combat. 
That's right, Miris had been able to recover and had rushed towards Goku at an amazing speed that even exceeded the reaction speed of the Ultra Instinct. Daishenken at that moment, with the fall of Goku, would be able to connect some excellent blows to Weiris, which at every moment of the battle was being affected by the blows of Daishenken. Dark Mythic Dragon! At that moment, a powerful dark dragon would descend from the sky, which, upon colliding with Weiris, would connect thousands of rays all over his body, causing the fusion to be lost, since its bearers were on the verge of death. Well, well. What a pathetic end for you, Beerus. You had a great future ahead of you, but you sent it all to the trash because of that simple saying. If I could turn back time, I'd do it again. I'm sure someone will end your reign of evil and selfishness. Daishaken at that moment would throw a great sphere of destruction towards Beerus, who would turn into simple dust. Damn it, Dad! I swear I'll take revenge on this one for you to end my life, because if you seal me, I'll find a way to get out! <laughs> I would like to observe that. You know that no one will be able to free themselves from the Hell Dimension, and that's where you and Goku will be sent! Daishenken at that moment would create a portal through which, with a great attack, he would send Goku and Whis, who no longer had any power to resist. In that place, Goku will die, and you will not be able to do anything, Whis. While on your part, you'll be punished for all eternity by revealing yourself against your father. At that moment, the portal would close and Daishenken would help to remove the wounds of Miris. And at that moment, they would go in search of the Super Dragon Balls, invoking the great god Zama. Tell me what is your wish. I wish that the king of everything Xenosama forgets the existence of Son Goku of Universe 7. It's a little complicated to fulfill, but I can do it. After a few seconds, the eyes of the dragon god Zama would shine, affirming that his wish was done. Meanwhile, the dimension Goku and Whis had already awakened, and Whis, with his Bakulo, would achieve that Goku recovered all his energies, and both would devise a plan to take revenge against Daishaken Sama. Goku and Whis at that moment would begin to devise a perfect plan to get out of that dimension. However, Goku had suffered a serious mental damage, since seeing Beerus die in front of him had made him awaken a part of him that he never believed existed. Goku at that moment would begin to increase his power in an amazing way, leaving even Whis surprised, who had no idea of Goku's hidden power. Goku, stop! The power you're releasing is too much even for you! If you continue like this, you'll die! Goku, without listening to anything, he looked like a beast releasing such power. After a big explosion which shook everything around him, we could see a Goku with hair as red as blood and with malevolent look. I want to finish with each one of those damned ones! I'll not leave any worm alive! They'll beg for their miserable life and I'll enjoy their suffering! At that moment, Goku would fall to the ground out of combat. That's right, the power that Goku had given off, his body could not support it. So Goku was very badly hurt. Whis, at that time and moment, would help him and let him lie down in a place so that nothing happened to him. While he said to himself, Lord Goku's power is incredible, and I can't believe it. I'm sure thought he would have had so much power. His power is he trains properly if... I'm sure he'll surpass Daishenken-sama. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, Daishenken and Miris had returned to the realm of everything, and Xenosama had completely forgotten his best friend Goku. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Vegeta was training in the gravity machine, as he felt that something very bad was about to happen to the entire planet Earth, and rather, in the entire universe. Damn, what the hell is happening? I feel that we're in the spotlight as if we're in the center of a hurricane. Vegeta would continue with his great training. However, after a few days in which Vegeta did not have such a feeling, at that moment, Miris would appear on the planet Earth by ordering of Daishenken. Miris, I want you to go to planet Earth and finish with all the warriors, including the planet. Nobody can know what you have done with Whis and Goku. Understood, father. Leave it in my hands. No one will know about what happened. Miris was at the top of the planet. At the moment, Vegeta would observe a great pressure 
in the atmosphere of the planet, which would be detected quickly, observing a being very similar to Wiss. But you're Miris. You helped us in the battle against Moore, the devourer of words. Well, apparently you know who I am. Well, it doesn't matter. I just have to finish with all of you quickly. Vegeta, in that moment, would be very surprised by what Miris said. Miris at that moment would throw himself against Vegeta, who was not able to dodge his blows because he was not with his guard up. However, even Gohan had felt the power of Vegeta, so he had quickly turned to Piccolo, observing how Vegeta was receiving a brutal beating. Gohan at that moment would transform into his beast mode, achieving a great power. While Piccolo would agree to his transformation, Orange Piccolo. At that moment, both would help them start with Vegeta, who at that moment of having some freedom, would begin to expel a great power. That's right, in all this time, Vegeta had achieved a new transformation. At that same instant, a purple aura would be observed all over the place, leaving surprised all the others, when the feeling of Vegeta's power. However, for Miris, it was not a relevant power. Miris at that moment would be able to give a few blows to Piccolo and Gohan, who had been a little injured. You won't be able to do anything against me. You're not like the Saiyans named Goku. He's been the only one that could make me feel pain. Do you know about Kakarot's whereabouts? <laughs> of course I do. Where, where Goku and Whis have been locked up in the Forbidden Dimension. Damn, that's why Whis didn't respond to my calls. This is a bad feeling I had, but I'm not going to die without a fight. Vegeta at that moment, together with Gohan and Piccolo, in the same way had launched themselves against Miris. However, their power was insufficient. Gohan at that moment would take a little space, starting to charge a great attack on the tips of his fingers. The energy he gathered was amazing. At the moment Gohan launched his attack, Piccolo and Vegeta would move quickly away. Gohan's attack seemed that he would reach him. However, Miris, with stretching one of his hands, would make it disappear. As I told you, you don't have enough power for, to fight me. Damn it. I swear we'll at least make you bleed. We won't let you humiliate us like this. I, the Prince of the Saiyans, will annihilate you. The trio of warriors against would uh, launch themselves against Miris, but their efforts were useless. Their powers were very distant compared to Miris. Daishiken, who would be observing everything, would realize that Miris was able to kill one of the warriors, so he would stop observing what was happening. Miris, at that moment, already tired of playing with the warriors, would begin to take the battle much more seriously, and managing to end the lives of Gohan and Piccolo in a few moves, while he had left Vegeta on the verge of death. I realize that you have an incredible power. Your power is far above those bastards. You even surpass the power of a god of destruction. Hell, I haven't been able to protect the planet, but I swear I'll make you bleed. I'm sorry, Bulma. I hope to see you again soon. Vegeta in that moment would begin to increase a great part of his power. That's right, Vegeta was willing to die in the same way. So you plan to explode. Gather all the power you want, because no matter what you do, you won't be able to do anything against me. I want to see that, damn you! Vegeta had reached his limit of his power, which on this occasion had created a great megaversal explosion, where the last breath of the Prince of the Saiyan had disappeared. The proudest warrior of all the Universe 7 had disappeared in a great explosion. That attack had been powerful enough to be able to make Miris bleed, which would feel a great blow to his chest. Damn monkey, although you died, you've done it with the satisfaction of hurting me. Meanwhile, in the dimension where Goku and Whis were, both were training very hard. So hard that even Goku was able to maximize his ultra instinct at his base state. That is, he was no longer worn out as he was before. Goku at that moment would begin to exchange blows with Whis, who on this occasion was having a hard time dodging each of Goku's blows. That's enough for today. I know you want to become more powerful in this short time, but rest is important anyway. I understand, Whis. I'll be patient to finish off all those bastards. You know, if it gets in my way, I swear I'll annihilate Daishaken and Miris. The months were passed in which everyone had forgotten Son Goku and Whis. Nevertheless, both were having an amazing power. Even Goku had been able to access the Divine Variants combining them with the Ultra Instinct. However, when using them, he had lost a little speed. My enemy is much faster than me. I'll have to use my perfect Ultra Instinct. But if he is only more powerful than me, I can use the Ultra Instinct Phase 3. I think you have a way of being more reasoning. 
It's excellent, Mr. Goku. After everything that happened, you have become even more serious. Of course I am, Whis. I'm focused on what I really want to do since I'm sure that damn Daishanka destroyed my planet. I don't know what happened to my father, but I'm sure he did. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, Mears was traveling around the universe. However, at that moment, he was able to have a vision, in which he observed a gigantic Ozaro destroying everything around him, even crushing him. What the hell was that? Is that Saiyan still alive? <laughs> I doubt it. It's just my imagination. It's been months and in that place, that time passes in a different way. That simple monkey must have died already. Returning to the dimension, Goku and Whis would continue with their brutal training. Whis, not having any power transformations, had increased his base power. Even this time, he was able to beat all the angels together using only 34% of all his power, which was crazy because the angels were the most powerful in existence, followed below Daishenkensama and Xenosama. So Goku, very soon we'll leave this miserable place and get our revenge. Of course we will, Whis. We just need the power to break the seal of the dimension. Of course, Mr. Goku. It seems simple, but it'll be the most complicated thing, because this dimension is made with the same power of Daishenkensama. Ha ha ha! I don't care who the hell made it. I'll destroy it to a thousand pieces, and then the same thing will happen to him. Goku and Whis at that moment, without any words, it started again with their great training, which was based on having their senses at 100%, and that Goku was able to achieve a new transformation. However, on this occasion, it seemed to be somewhat complicated because a part of Goku's body seemed to be sealed. What the hell's wrong with my power? It's not increasing as it did at the beginning. Goku at that moment would go deep into his mind, observing how Daishenken had been able to place an energy seal on his energy veins, being impossible for him to increase his power. At the moment that Goku observed that seal, he was about to destroy it, but a being would appear in front of him. I will not let you destroy the seal. I am the materialization of the Divine Seal. If you destroy me, it will finish me, so I better finish you and control your body. You'll only do that if you turn out to be more powerful than me, although I doubt it. Ha 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 ha! Simple mortal always thinking he's better than the gods. You mortals don't have the necessary power to face us. That guy had been sent flying with a great blow that he was not able to observe. However, the annoyed guy threw himself against Goku with the intention of ending his life quickly. Goku, having a much colder attitude, would not trust him, so he would quickly grant him a rain of blows and a sphere would reduce him to simple atoms. At that time, all the energy began to flow through all his veins of energy, and at that moment, an incredible power began to run through the whole body of Goku, which felt like it was filling with energy. So Daishenken's seal was sealing all this power to me. <laughs> how interesting. Every day that goes by, your miserable death is getting closer. Mr. Goku, are you alright? I feel a great power coming from you. That's right, don't worry, Whis. I'm just recovering all my lost power. Better said the power that that bastard Daishenken tried to seal to me. I understand, Mr. Goku. Very soon, we will have our revenge against my father. I never thought I would say this, but I want to end his life with my own hands. At that very moment, an incredible power had come out of Goku's body. That's right, the power he had accumulated had been so much that his body needed a power transformation to be able to dominate it completely, because if not, Goku's whole body would explode. At that moment, the silhouette of an Ozaru could be seen, while his power continued to increase, which would leave Whis very surprised he didn't understand everything that had happened. Goku continued to increase a great part of all his power, leaving Whis very astonished, who did not know about all the hidden power of Goku, since he had previously released it in the same way, but not at this level. After a few minutes and a big explosion, you could see a Goku with a somewhat primitive appearance, since he had fur all over his body, symbolizing the form of the Ozaru. However, he was still conscious and had a characteristic features of the human. Mr. Goku! Are you alright? How were you able to unleash all that power? Of course I'm fine, Whis. You don't have to worry. This is the power beyond the Ultra Instinct, the mighty Super Saiyan 4. I just lost my divinity. You're right, Mr. Goku. In that form, your power is that of a mortal, but the power you give off is incredible, even surpassing that of a guardian angel. 
What do you say we try my new power, Wiss? Goku at that moment, without waiting for Wiss's answer, had launched himself to the attack, not letting Wiss be prepared. Wiss, in spite of dominating the Ultra Instinct to its maximum splendor, was not able to dodge such a deadly blow, which would make him spit large amounts of blood. Oh my, it seems I've exceeded my power, I regret it. Wiss at that moment would put a much more serious look and, in the same way, would rush against Goku, which began to exchange blows at high speeds. However, this was amazing. So it is, Goku was on par with the most powerful angel among the 12 universes. Mr. Goku, the power you have achieved is incredible, but you're still not on par with a supreme angel like me. Divine punishment! At that moment, thousands of energy spheres began to head towards Goku, which, despite not possessing the Ultra Instinct, was able to dodge each of the energy arrows. That's right, the reaction speed of Goku had increased too much, being so much that even the attacks of Whis seemed slow. Whis, if that's your most powerful technique, I'm sorry to tell you that you won't be able to give me a scratch. Goku at that moment would create an incredible attack in the form of a fire dragon, which was heading towards Whis. At that moment, Whis, without wasting time, would likewise create a great attack, with which he would start an amazing clash. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, everything would go on as normal. Or this is what everyone believed, because this time a few hundred years had already passed, in which the Emperor of Evil, Frieza, had increased his power in an amazing way, even getting a new transformation with which it was easy for him to overcome the power of gods and angels. <laughs> Just as I have said in the Tournament of Power, one day I will be able to end the life of that damned dwarf who calls himself King of Everything. The only rule of all the universes must be me. Frieza had trained for approximately 125 years already, and being a prodigy, his power had exploded in an astonishing way. With this power I possess, now I must find a good opponent, since I need real battles and not simple trainings. At that moment, Frieza would access to his gold transformation, with which he would begin to fly towards the planet of Beerus at an amazing speed. But great was his surprise when he found nobody. This is really strange, but I could go to other universes. I want to test my powers. Frieza would begin to move through space, and by surpassing the power of a common warrior, he'd be able to travel through the universe burials. At that moment, Frieza would arrive to Universe 6, feeling the power of the legendary assassin hit. Ha <laughs> ha, this is excellent. You'll be an excellent warm-up for my power. Frieza, at an astonishing speed, began to head towards Hit, arriving in a matter of seconds. At the moment, Hit would recognize him quickly, but he would be surprised by the pressure that Frieza's body was releasing. But if you're the demon of the cold of Universe 7, tell me what the hell are you doing here in Universe 6? Would you want to end my life? That's precisely why I came here. I want to check if you really are a legendary assassin. Hit, before he could answer or even react, he'd be sent flying to a planet, falling so hard that he would not even be dragged due to the power of the Hit. My, my! Did you fall asleep? I thought you would stop time and dodge my attack. By finishing you off, I will humiliate the wretched Topo who humiliated me in the tournament. What the hell? Your powers have increased in an amazing way. But don't think you're the only one who is trained. Hit at that moment would get into battle pose, and in less than two seconds, both began to exchange blows throughout Universe 6, destroying planets, galaxies, solar systems with the simple clash of their fists. At the time, Fords and Champa had felt the bestial battle. What the hell's happening? That power is a hit, Fords! Let's go immediately! As you order, Champa sama Vados and Chapa began heading towards the battlefield at a great speed. Meanwhile, the power of both of them was spreading all over the 12 universes, attracting the attention of Jiren and Topu. That power seems familiar to me. But it's incredible that the power of a single warrior can reach the other universes. I must be wrong. No, Jiren, you're not wrong. That is the power of the Cold Demon, which I humiliated in the Tournament of Power. But his power has grown in an amazing way, and it gives off pure evil. Returning to the dimension, Goku and Whis had finished their training, feeling totally prepared to finish with any being that put in front of them. However, in that moment, a new power had awakened inside Goku. That's right, Goku in this time had tried to unite his transformation phase 4 with Divine Ki. However, in that precise moment, a latent power began to increase inside him. What's happening to my body? I feel that everything's flowing stronger. It even hurts. 
that moment, Goku in spite of being transformed into Super Saiyan 4, felt a great pressure in all his body. That's right, Goku in spite of all the resistance of his body was not able to withstand that bestial power. So a strong explosion was about to be created from Goku's body, which had even become much more muscular by energy exchange. This is all the power of the Ozaru. I'll not explode. I'll be able to control it. Goku in that moment had a great roar, had been able to release the excess of energy. But in the same way, he had agreed to a new transformation because his power had increased so much that he needed an empowering transformation. After a great disaster all over the place and big explosions, we could observe a Goku with his fur, but something to uh, differentiate was the bright white color, which made him look like an angelic and divine being of high rank. Whis would be very amazed to observe the new appearance of Goku. However, Goku was trying to move, was so heavy by the power he had. It seems that our departure will have to be delayed a little more. You must control all that power, because even though you have that bestial strength, you're not able to move. You'll be annihilated. Goku and Whis at that moment would begin with their last and definitive training, to be able to control all the power that came from this. Returning to the battle of Frieza and Hit, both were very even. However, the power that Frieza had was incredible, since he was only playing with Hit. While he had used everything, even his time jump, but this was not enough since the power of Frieza surpassed even the space-time barrier. What kind of training have you done? Your power has been exploited in an incredible way. I'm not able to assimilate it. Ha ha ha! Don't be surprised by so little. In my current transformation, I'm only using 45% of all my power, and I still have much more powerful transformation. He would be astonished. Fraser would charge a great attack with the intention of finishing with hit. But when the attack was about to hit, Champa would get in front of that great attack, managing to deflect it with a little difficulty. What the hell are you doing in my universe? Well, well, if it isn't the brother of that wretched Beerus. Champa annoyed would launch into the attack with, to Frieza's surprise, Champa's power had increased in an amazing way, being able to connect some excellent blows with which Frieza badly hurt and on the ground. <laughs> After all, you're still a mere mortal. You're nothing compared to a god of destruction. Frieza in that moment would give a big smile, with which he would begin to increase all his power. That's right, Frieza had access to his new transformation, with which the whole Universe 6 was trembling. The power that Frieza was releasing was amazing, so much that even Vados would be very surprised, who was not able to understand the power that Frieza had achieved in these years. After a big explosion that would be seen by all the planets of the Universe 6, Frieza could be observed in his transformation of Black Frieza. I hope you have a great power, because in this transformation, I'm not able to control my powers. Frieza at that moment would launch himself against Champa at an amazing speed, which even for Vados was difficult to observe, starting to massacre Champa in a way never seen before. He would be very astonished to know that Frieza's words were real. Damn, if with his previous transformation, I wasn't able to do anything with that transformation, he's a real monster. Hit didn't care about everything. He would rush against Frieza again using his best killing techniques, but these had no effect on Frieza, who had a body as resistant as the hardest steel in the universe. Champa was receiving a beating from Frieza in a matter of seconds. However, before Champa became unconscious, he would telecommunicate with the god Vermouth, who was one of the most powerful gods and extremely powerful warriors. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, Vermouth, upon receiving an alert from the god Champa, would set off to Universe 6 with Jiren and Topo. In a matter of 28 minutes, they would arrive at Universe 6, finding a chilling scene. That's right, Frieza had left Hit and Champa on the verge of death, while he was having a brutal battle with Vados. At that moment, Jiren and Topo would increase their power to the maximum, leaving all those present surprised. Frieza, upon observing Topo, was filled with an uncontrollable rage, giving a great blow to Vados and leaving her badly wounded. At that moment, she launched herself against Topo, but to her surprise, Topo had been able to stop her blow, but it had cost him a lot since the power of Frieza was incredible. I swear that the humiliation you put me through in the tournament of power, I will return it with interest, even to you, you damned Martian. The three warriors began to exchange blows. The power was so powerful that planets of Universe 6 were disintegrated. 
Meanwhile, as Goku and Whis, after a few months, Goku was able to master his new transformation to 100% being able to move freely and at a much higher speed than before. Now, Whis, I think we're ready. Oh, yes, sir, Goku. Our time has come. In that dimension, Goku would increase a great part of his power, beginning to destroy the same dimension of Daishenken. In that instant of a strong roar, Goku had made a thousand pieces of the dimension, managing to leave the place appearing in Universe 7, which was simple cosmic dust. Nevertheless, the incredible pressure could be felt by all the 12 universes. So much was the power of Goku that even Haria kneeled to all the gods and angels, including the three warriors who were fighting. At that moment, an Ozaru could be observed by all the 12 universes, and the power that gave off was unreal. The powerful Goku had been able to destroy all the dimension of Daishenken-sama, and in the same way, when realizing that all the Universe 7 had been destroyed, he would become enraged, releasing much more power, being able to even destroy planets of different universes. All the divine beings had fallen on their knees due to the pressure. Meanwhile, in Universe 6, the three warriors were not able to move due to such majestic power, that's right, the power that Goku was releasing was from another dimension, which did not allow the three warriors to move freely, as they felt their bodies were heavy. What the hell's going on? Who's releasing all this power? Damn it, I could recognize this power even after millions of years. You damned Goku monkey. So you finally show your face. No matter how much your power has increased, I will defeat you. Frieza at that moment would increase a great part of his true power, being able to reduce that incredible pressure. That's right, and this time, without giving time to Jiren and Topo, he would begin to give them a beating, which this time they were not able to do anything, while Vermouth and Daisy were not able to do anything because the pressure was crushing them completely. This pressure even surpasses the pressure of a king at all. Who is the being with so much power? I can't even breathe! At that moment, the incredible pressure would disappear, leaving everyone else to be able to move freely. However, Frieza would not trust ending the lives of Jiren and Topo with a powerful attack. However, at the same moment, in front of everyone, Goku and Whis had arrived to the battlefield. The two deities of Universe 11 were surprised because they would quickly recognize Goku and Whis. This is incredible. That being is releasing all that power as a Saiyan. Well, well, Vegeta. After all these years, you still call yourself the Emperor of Evil. The day of your death has arrived, since I plan to finish with all beings full of evil. I want you to try. You will not be cap- Frieza was not able to finish his sentence because at that moment, Goku was beating him to death while Frieza wasn't able to do anything against him. Mr. Goku has managed to overcome the power of a god, an angel, and I'm even sure he's able to overcome the power of a king altogether. Goku with a strong blow would send him to a planet to crash, however Frieza would recover quickly returning to the battlefield. Damn monkey, you have amazing power, but I am much more powerful than you, now I'll show you 100% of all my power. At that moment, Frieza would begin to increase all his power in an amazing way, being so much his power that even in this occasion disasters all over the universe were caused, even leaving Goku a little surprised. You must really call yourself a prodigy, since your power is incredible. But that'll not be enough for the most powerful Saiyan of all the universes! Frieza, from a great explosion, would come out with 100% of all his power, and being to exchange blows with Goku. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, Daishenken along with Miris had been astonished to realize that both were completely breaking the divine seal of a supreme angel. This is bad. Son Goku's power even surpasses Xenosama's power in his combat form. We can't do anything against him. Father, you're the Supreme Angel. We've always had our way. We were even able to seal the Supreme Angel Mikoshin. We won't let a mere mortal stand in our way to end our dreams. You're right, Miris. A simple mortal will not allow us to become the new kings of everything. But we must go to Universe Zero if we want to survive. Universe Zero? It's said that not even a king of everything is able to get out of that place alive. 
That's right. In that universe, my father gave his life for me. Because millions of years ago, I entered that universe. And the beings that exist are beings with enough power to finish with the king of everything with just a thunder of their fingers. Mirus at that moment would be very surprised, but knowing that they had no other option, he'd accept. At that moment, both angels would leave the realm altogether, beginning to fly at an incredible speed through all the universes. And Goku's power being so great, it was perfect for foot camouflage. Returning to the battlefield, Frieza was not able to hit Goku despite using 100% of all his power. Well, well, I thought that because you've been training for hundreds of years and consider yourself a prodigy, you'd be able to do something against me. But you're still the same trash. Yeah, monkey, I won't lose to you again. I swear I'll finish you off. Fraser would again do everything possible to be able to finish with Goku. However, each one of his blows were in vain because his power surpassed him by dozens of times. At that moment, Whis would approach the Vermouth God and his sister Margarita. I'm glad to know that they're well. Frieza has been able to overcome the power of a god and an angel. Whis at that moment would notice the key of his sister Vados was disappearing. Flying quickly towards her, Whis and with his staff was able to make Vados completely recover. However, she was unconscious and at that moment Vermouth would approach Whis. Whis, how'd you get all that power? And why aren't you with Beerus? Whis at that moment began to explain everything that happened since Goku was able to defeat Moro to the betrayal of his brother Mirus, along with the High Priest Daishenkin-sama, everyone was surprised to know that even the High Priest had betrayed them. Returning with the battle of both beings, Frieza at that moment was no longer able to withstand the power of his new transformation. So he had received a strong blow from Goku, being sent to some rocks, and at that moment he would lose his transformation, returning to his fifth form. Damn! Damn! Once again humiliated by this simple monkey! You never stood a chance against me. You're nothing but a simple worm. Frieza would launch a great attack. However, he was terrified because even though he was only a few centimeters away, Goku was able to dodge it. You didn't even serve me as a warm up, but it's time to finish you off. At that moment that Goku was charging a great attack, a being had been able to hit Goku with a great blow, sending him to fly to a planet. And at that moment, the subject would take Frieza, creating a portal of negative energy and leaving the place. At that moment that Goku recovered from the blow, he'd say to himself, That guy hit me really hard. He is an exceptionally powerful being. This shouldn't be good. Goku at that moment would return to Ultra Instinct, approaching everyone present, would realize that Jiren and Topo had fallen on the battlefield trying to defend Hit and Champa. Don't worry! It's not a problem for Whis since he even overcome the barrier of a supreme angel. At that moment, Whis, with his staff, was able to bring Jiren and Topo back to life, who were surprised to see Goku in front of him. What happened? Was Goku able to defeat that cold demon? <laughs> he wasn't even that powerful after all. Goku at that moment would put on a very serious look, which everyone noticed. I have no idea if the gods and angels would be with us or against us but we plan to end the lives of Daishenkin and Miris. On behalf of the whole Universe 11, count on us, but it'd be better to meet the kingdom of everything to know the decision of each god. I don't care about the decision of each god, neither about Xenosama. That damn Daishenkin, he only wanted to end my life without me doing anything to him, so I'm gonna destroy him. Goku and Whis at that moment would disappear and they both arrived to the kingdom of a matter of seconds. Nevertheless, to the surprise of both, nobody would come out to receive them. Goku, thinking that Daishenka was hiding, would raise a great part of his power. However, at that moment, both guardians of Xenosama would appear in front of both warriors. But if it is Lord Goku, tell us, what do you want in the kingdom of everything? Don't you want to know where Daishenka is? We don't know, uh, since apparently three hours ago he disappeared from this place along with Miris. Whis at that moment would use his baculum to locate him, being surprised when he noticed the trace of energy that his father and Mirus had left in the space. This is impossible! Apparently my father and Mirus have abandoned the 12 universes to enter the Forbidden Universe or better known as Universe Zero. Universe Zero? I've never heard of that universe! Universe Zero is the place where the most powerful beings exist. In that place even a king of everything would be easily crushed. That place sounds great to increase our power levels. Mr. Goku, don't you understand? No matter how powerful we are, 
Getting out of that universe alive is practically impossible. My father and Miris have gone to die on that planet. That's right, Goku. Even I would have dared to enter that place. Even if I'm in my fighting form because I could be eliminated with a single blow. Even you, Great Xenosama. I can't believe this. That means that both of you will die in that place. Hell, I want to humiliate you. Meanwhile, somewhere far away from all that space, Daishaken and Miris were reaching the border of Universe Zero. Miris, I hope you're prepared because in this place, we become powerful. Otherwise, we'll die in this place. Understood, Father. I'll do my best, since I want to finish that damn sand with my own hands. However, in that moment, an extremely powerful being had detected them. That's right, this being was known as the Annihilator of Universe Zero, because he exterminated all beings close to the barrier of his universe. Daishaki and Amiris, despite flying at an amazing speed, they'd be stopped without being able to react. That subject would take them by their legs, beginning to destroy everything in their path, with their own bodies. At that moment, the subject would throw them to a planet falling both, and without being able to recover, the Annihilator would begin to throw thousands of energy spheres to them. That should be enough, since they did not emanate a great power. At that moment, the Annihilator would leave that place. However, in front of Daishank and Amiris, a guide saved their lives. That's right, this being was one of the five most powerful warriors in the entire Universe Zero. You must be the son Daishinku-sama. Since I remember the time I killed your miserable father, you're Daishinken. Millions of years ago, you were able to escape, but now? Daishinken at that moment would begin to tremble with fear, remembering that this same guy who was the one who ended the life of his millions of years ago and his father sacrificed himself so that he could escape. But tell me, what brought you to Universe Zero? Since I must admit that you're not a fool, and if you're in this place, it must be for a very dangerous reason. My son Miris and I, we've sealed a guardian angel and a Saiyan, and we don't know how they were able to get out of that place. <laughs> how stupid you are! You should have used the divine seal so they won't be able to get out of that place. At that moment, Daishenka would look very serious, and with his voice full of terror, he would say something to Yota, which would also leave him very astonished. We have used the divine seal level 5, the most powerful seal that exists. And even so, he was able to escape from that place. If what you're telling me is correct, that guy must be a super warrior. So after millions of years, a new being's been born who's worthy of being part of Universe Zero. Even his power surpasses a king at all. We want to end his life once and for all. On second thought, if you tell me that he has increased his power in this short period of time, you're right. It'd be better to end his life. I hope you're ready. I, the mighty Yota, exterminator of kings, will train you. At that moment, Yota would take Daishank and Amiris and would begin to fly at a great speed through all the Universe Zero until arriving to his territory. Meanwhile, with Goku and Whis, these would continue very thoughtful because Daishanken had left the Universe Zero and in the same way, the key of Frieza had disappeared completely. I don't like this at all. In spite of having this great power, I feel that incredibly powerful being will crush us. If you wish, my friend, I'll train you as well. Of course, Xenosama. That helped me a lot to increase my level of power even more. At that moment, the great Xenosama would begin to access his combat form, making each one in the 12 universes tremble. That's right. At that moment, the king of everything, Xenosama, had accessed his combat form, leaving Goku and Whis surprised, who didn't know that the king of everything had a combat form. After a big explosion, because Xenosama did not control 100% of his power, an imposing warrior could be seen in front of Goku. I hope you're prepared, Goku, because with my combat form, I'm not able to control my strength. You better stop! Even though you have agreed to your combat form, you're no match for me. You better train with Whis. You're my best friend, but not for that reason. I'll not let you talk to me this way. Now you'll taste a great part of my power, and you'll regret having underestimated me. At that moment, Zeno Sama, in spite of the warnings of Goku, had launched himself against him, being useless. That's right, Goku dodged and blocked each of his blows with only one of his arms. 
which left Xenosama astonished. While Xenosama attacked with all his power, he'd tell Goku to attack him. That would be an even battle. At that moment, Goku paid attention to his friend Xenosama. He connected only four simple blows, which had been able to alter all his internal energy seat. That's right, Goku's blows possess divine energy of a level beyond a king of everything, so that the body of Xenosama would not withstand it. At that moment, he'd fall to the ground very badly injured. Goku would approach the king of everything and would stretch only one of his hands. You better train with Whis. I plan to meditate to control 100% of my power. Meanwhile, in Universe Zero, Daishinkan and Mirus were suffering in the cruelest way possible. That's right, every day their trainings were of a brutal level, and they ended up vomiting large amounts of blood because they couldn't resist Yota's blows. This hurts a lot. I don't want to train anymore. Mirus, we must be able to endure all this, because if we leave this place, that damn monkey will be able to torture us in a much worse way. I trust you. You must be called the Supreme Angels for a reason. I hope you can resist much longer. At that moment again, Daishank and Amiris had thrown themselves against Yota with the intention of hitting him. But it was impossible, since the difference of powers was overwhelming. Meanwhile, in another territory of Universe Zero, Frieza, in the same way, was very badly wounded and on the verge of death, being training with the third most powerful god of Universe Zero. Flashback. The third god of Universe Zero named Reich was observing the battle of Frieza against Hit until the moment that even Goku arrived. That's right, and Reich was interested in Frieza, so he would recruit him for his army. And at that moment that Goku was about to end the life of Frieza, Reich with a divine technique would send him to fly and teleport Frieza to where he was. And flashback. This hurts. It hurts a lot. But I'm able to endure it to the end of that damned monkey. I think that's an excellent idea, Frieza. After all, you're a true prodigy, since an ordinary being would have already died on the first day of training. I only have been using my golden Frieza state. Now it's time to show you my true power, since I haven't shown you my maximum power. What do you mean? Do you have much more hidden power? I am the Emperor of Evil, and I will not be humiliated in this way. Behold, the power of the Black Frieza! Frieza at that moment would increase his power to the max. That's right, this time Frieza's power would push back Reich, who couldn't believe all the power that Frieza was unleashing. This is amazing. How could a being with this potential not be recruited to be part of Universe Zero? After a gigantic explosion, we would observe Frieza and his new transformation. However, without Reich being able to react, we could observe blood falling from the sky. That's right, at that moment, Frieza had connected a strong blow in Reich's abdomen, which would make him spit some blood. When Frieza was about to give him another blow, Reich would hold his fist with a strong blow. Don't be smart, you damn demon. I'm a Super Saiyan of Universe Zero. Even in this universe, my name's Feared. I'll not be defeated by a simple being of the external universes. At that moment, Reich would hit him with a very strong blow, but to his surprise, Frieza would still be able to hold him, but it was still very difficult for him. You're not dealing with just any being of the universe. Since my birth, I've always been considered a prodigy, and now I will prove it to you! At that moment, Frieza and Reich began to exchange blows at great speeds, which were incredible. However, Frieza was having a hard time keeping up with Reich, who this time was using 45% of all his power. This was too much, taking into account that the beings of Universe Zero were beings of a power that even surpassed a king at all. Frieza had made him use almost half of all his power, however at that moment Reich would give a strong blow to Frieza which would make him fall to the floor. You must really call yourself a prodigy. I don't think that anyone from the outer multiverse would be able to face you, only on that occasion you were attacked by several beings. Frieza at that moment would stand up again. You are completely wrong. That miserable monkey defeated me without even making an effort. Reich at that moment would put on a very serious look, and in the same way would diminish his power. Training's over today. I want to tell you exactly who defeated you. I believe you were defeated by just one guy. You have an amazing power, but I'm sure that even you would not have the power to defeat him. He's a monster, but I'm going to train until I defeat him. At that moment, a great war would be felt in the whole place. That's right, at that moment, Reich had increased a great part of his power, which made Frieza fall to his knees. That's right, Reich had become enraged in compared to a being from the external energies.
This is 65% of all my power. And you claim to be a prodigy of falling to the ground with nothing to do. Really, you're nothing compared to me. But I'll train you to become more powerful. In front of you, I plan to end the life of this guy. Meanwhile, returning to the Kingdom of Everything, Whis was training together with the King of Everything while Goku was continuing his meditation. That's right, Goku's power was at rest. However, a much greater power was going through his inner self. Goku was looking in a way to surpass his current power. At that moment, Goku would open his eyes being in the Ultra Instinct. That's right, Goku since the beginning of his meditation had been in the Ultra Instinct, but something to differentiate was that this time his power was amazing. If I want to increase my power level even more, I have to increase my base level, since it's one of the, the boosted ones of my transformation. Goku at that moment would try to return to his base state, being impossible. At that moment, Whis and Xenosama had finished their training. Mr. Goku, you're no longer able to return to your base state, because the power you possess has transcended beyond a king at all. So, now your base state is the Ultra Instinct. That means that if I want to power up my other transformations, like the Angelic Super Saiyan 4, I must do it in the Ultra Instinct, or am I wrong? You are not wrong, Mr. Goku. Your base state, as I have told you, is Ultra Instinct, so that in that state you will have to increase your power. Do you think we should train Whis? I don't plan to use any other transformation than the Ultra Instinct. Mr. Goku, don't be confident. I trained in the time room with you, so our powers are not that far apart. What do you say we check it out? However, Goku was not able to observe anything since at that moment, Whis, with the help of his staff, had sent him to fly hundreds of meters. Without waiting for him to recover, he began to give him a beating, which, despite having the Ultra Instinct, was not able to react to the incredible speed that Whis possessed. At that moment, Goku could fall to the ground very badly injured. Ah, for a simple training, you've taken it seriously. I'll make sure you use all your power with my Ultra Instinct. At that moment, both began to exchange blows at impressive speeds, which destroyed everything around them. But all the affected plants and the deserted plants for the use of training. However, it was amazing as a clash of fists of two beings who didn't have the title of king at all were able to destroy these planets, which were designed for training gifts of all kings. This is incredible. I'm not able to see anything. Only how thousands of planets are destroyed by the clash of their fists. At that moment, all the vital network of Goku's body was expanding. That's right, his body, while the battle was advancing, was able to adapt to the blows of Whis, being able to keep up. However, Whis, realizing this, would increase his power a little more, being able to give him a great blow which made him vomit large amounts of blood. That hurt me too much! Mr. Goku, your power is increasing in an amazing way, but remember, rest is still important to increasing your power quickly. You're right, Whis. Even though I'm more powerful than you, you've always had more experience than me. Meanwhile, with Daishaken and Miris, both angels had achieved an incredible power. That's right, the power of both had increased in a surprising way, being able to give battle to Yota, who is using 56% of all his power this time. Their power has increased in an incredible way, but they're still not powerful enough to kill a king completely in their combat form. Combat form? That must be only possessed from the most powerful kings of all, since Xenosama has never accessed this combat form. <laughs> you guys are really stupid. Xenosama, or better known as Zen the Destroyer, is the most powerful king of everything in his combat form. But how can this be possible? I've never seen or heard him speak of his fighting form. I've only been in his service for millions of years. Billions of years ago, Deku-sama, your father, was able to observe how the king of everything Xenosama ended the lives of ten super demons of Universe Zero, leaving no trace only their shattered bodies. But why doesn't he use it if he has so much power? Why is that? The king of everything Xenosama knows perfectly well that in his combat form, he is not able to control his thirst for blood, so he's always had to repress it. And even now, even though he has access to his combat form, 90% of all his power is sealed in the divine ballistica of the kings of everything. So that damned dwarf has always fooled me. He has the power to be able to wipe us all out, you wretch! Returning to the Kingdom of Everything, Xenosama was also in deep thought. Face it of the Universe Zero, 
I really feel that I need my forbidden power. I don't know if this time I'll be able to control it. However, at the moment, an incredible roar was present through the universe. Likewise, Goku was able to expel his hidden power, but he wasn't able to control it, so it was destroying everything around him. I'll kill them! I'll kill them! I'll kill them! Goku would continue to increase his power in a chilling way that even the disasters of his power reached up to Universe Zero. The whole body of Goku was releasing an overwhelming power. That's right, this time Kakarot had totally fused with Goku, which was making him lose control. Due to the great negative energy that Kakarot possessed, Xenosama, in that instant, would rush against Goku with the intention of stopping him, since the power he was releasing was a bestial one. And it could explode, but the moment of approaching, hundreds of rays would go through his whole body, making him spit a great amount of blood. Whis in the same way had thrown himself against Goku, but in the same way it would be useless since a great barrier would repel him, and at the moment it would cause a great explosion leaving Whis with a few wounds. I can't go on like this, I have to use it, after millions of years! Instantly Xenosama, at an astonishing speed, would stand in front of a great power which, being in front of it, even a surprising pressure would be felt. My authentic power! The power beyond the power of a king of everything. I, Zen the Annihilator, will recover the power that made the whole universe tremble zero. All that great negative power would begin to enter the body of Xenosama, which, in the same way, would begin to cause destruction throughout all the universes, which would even be more catastrophic than those of Goku. All the gods of Universe Zero would realize that the power of Xenosama had returned. His power! After so many millions of years, you've decided to regain your power! Zen the Annihilator of six super gods! Meanwhile, Daishenken and Miris at that moment would fall to their knees, not being able to move even a little bit. Yoto would instantly feel an incredible pressure in his whole body, but would release a great power being able to free himself from the pressure. Damn Zeno, you think you're going to go back to the war of millions of years? But a gigantic power's on your side. But in all that universe, in the same way of a great tremor would be felt, since the most powerful god of all the universe, Zero, had released his incredible murderous aura, which was more of a neutralizing everything around him. But he would increase his power a little more, being able to make even his other colleagues feel such incredible pressure. So that useless one has accepted his murderous nature. But that warrior next to him also gives off a great power. This will be a lot of fun. The whole Universe Zero would be wrapped in a great red energy, just like the pressure that God gave off. Returning to the palace of Xenosama, the same with his true power, would pounce on Goku, which, to everyone's surprise, was able to stop the blow of Xenosama with only one of his hands. But the color of his hair was totally red. That's right, Kakarot had manifested completely. So this is the true power of the King of the Whole. It is incredible, but that power will not be enough to face me. The Saiyan God of Death. Xenosama would be sent to fly to a planet which would be destroyed due to the incredible power of Kakarot's blow. Whis would be surprised to see how even the king of everything with his hidden power was not able to do anything against Goku. This is bad. The negative power that surrounds Lord Goku is overwhelming. If nothing is done, that power will not completely be controlled and all 12 universes will be annihilated. Xenosama, knowing that in the past, he was even feared by the gods of Universe Zero, would use much more power, beginning to exchange blows with Kakarot at an incredible speed. But Xenosama, despite that great power, was not able to cope with Kakarot, which, in every moment of the battle, was dominating it completely. Kakarot was able to connect a powerful blow in the abdomen of Xenosama, which made him spit blood. In spite of being a king at all, you don't have the necessary power to compare with me. You're still a simple child! Xenosama Furious would create a big explosion when Kakarot was a few centimeters away from him. However, the explosion, despite being catastrophic, at the time of dissipating, a large dome of dark energy could be observed, which was completely surrounding Kakarot. I don't think that you'd be able to explode. If I hadn't created my barrier, I'd end up lying on the ground. After all, you are somewhat talented. 
Kakarot would begin to massacre Xenosama, which with each great blow received, his power would begin to diminish considerably. This would surprise all the gods of the Universe Zero, which were watching everything that happened from a large sphere. At the time, Frieza would be able to recognize Goku. That damned monkey! I swear I'll be able to finish him off! Reich would instantly go back to staring at him. Is he the guy who defeated you? That's right! I told you he had great power, but who is he fighting with? With the pressure he was feeling a moment ago from that wretch? Damn it. Frieza didn't lose because he was weak. He wasn't wrong when he said that bastard would be able to defeat me. I don't have the confidence to defeat him with my current power. Yota would also be surprised to know that the warrior who was humiliating Xenosama, who was able to kill six super gods and called Zen the Annihilator, was very thoughtful, not knowing what kind of power that warrior possessed. Daishaken, and Miris, come here quickly. I want to explain to completely everything that was done to that Saiyan and how such a powerful being always went unnoticed. Son Goku is a mortal of a race called Saiyan, whose capacity is to increase his power with each battle. But there has never been an Saiyan to surpass the power of a god of destruction, much less the power of an angel. But when we realized that their power had no limit, we decided to lock them in the Room of Time, along with the Angel of Universe 7 since he did not agree. A simple mortal was able to master the Ultra Instinct that even for the Decios is completed to it, and was able to destroy the Divine Seal Level 5. This is crazy! Returning to the battle, Kakarot was having total advantage over the battle. That's right, just like that, with a great blow, he would send Xenosama to crash. Xenosama, in spite of getting up every time, was not able to assimilate the mass of energy, which for the first time, he felt terror in his whole body, since he was not able to do anything against Kakarot. Xenosama was not able to control the panic he felt when observing the red eyes of that Saiyan. You're a monster! What the hell are you? I, who was considered an annihilator, don't possess all that power. You're a beast. Kakarot at that moment felt that he was exploding. That's right, the power that he was giving off needed a new transformation, so that he wouldn't explode with all the power that he was giving off. I was sealed for several years, but if this bastard dies, I'll die in the same way. So I'll help him overcome his power. Kakarot at that moment would create a great sphere in his hand, throwing it to the sky. At the moment of exploding, an artificial moon would be created, and at the moment of observing it, he would begin to transform into a great ape. But without losing the control, he would be able to access the Super Saiyan 4. But there was something different to the Super Saiyan 4 that Goku possessed, since this time the fur of Kakarot was of a purple color, while his eyes were all black. The imposing that was detached from the body of Kakarot was incredible, so much that in this occasion, at the moment of releasing a little of his power, Xenosama and Whis were not able to breathe because of the pressure that detached from the body of Kakarot. What is this? I'm not able to move! I can't breathe! Uh, Goku, please react! Meanwhile, all over Universe Zero, all that incredible pressure had brought most of the gods to their knees with the exception of the three most powerful beings, which were Dracoria, Yota, and Reich. But Yota and Reich found it hard to stand up since the energy dispersed throughout their universe was incredible. At the moment, Yota would realize that Daishank and Amiris were about to die due to the pressure that destroyed each of their organs. Dimension absorption! Vacuum deviation! The whole place where Yota and both warriors were training would be transported to the dimension very different from the one they were in. On the contrary of Frieza, who was about to receive help from Reich, he would return to his black Frieza state, with which it was very difficult for him to move, but he would not give up. I'll not let the pr simple pressure of that dirty monkey defeat me. I'll be able to end your pathetic life, and for this, I must see death up close. Returning to the realm of the whole, Kakarot would approach towards Xenosama, which was not able to move any muscle to be able to defend himself. But at the moment, the whole body of Kakarot would begin to release some incredible rays. That's right, Goku was maintaining a close battle against Kakarot for the control of the body. Instantly, all the power of Kakarot would begin to diminish considerably, and an incredible roar would be heard all over the universes, followed by the voice of Goku. I'll now let you control my body, but I accept to merge with you. 
so that you will never be sealed again. But if you don't accept it, I will seal you for the rest of eternity. A great battle in Goku's consciousness was taking place. After only 10 more minutes, Goku would be able to take control of his body, returning to Ultra Instinct, but lightning would come out of his body, knocking him out of combat. Goku's power is incredible, but he must learn to master it completely. It'll be better to train because he'll be a great ally against the gods of Universe Zero. Whis, with his baculum, would heal each one of his wounds, and in the same way, he would help Goku, taking him to a bed so that he would recover completely. Dracoria, who was observing everything that happened, was very pensive. The power of that guy is incredible, but I'm sure that my power is capable of defeating him. But I must not trust him, because he has an amazing hidden power. He was able to humiliate Zen the Annihilator, as if he were a simple child. Meanwhile, the other warriors who wanted to end the life of Goku, they were all training very hard. That is, they would continue with a rigorous training that'd be able to increase their power level much more, as well as Whis and Xenosama, which both would begin to train to be able to increase their power much more. Xenosama, Mr. Goku's power is amazing, but do you think he'll be able to master it completely? I have total confidence in Goku's ability, so I'm sure he'll be able to master all of this bestial power. At the moment, a great power would be felt through the whole kingdom. That's right, in the same way, a cold pressure would be created all over the place, implying that a part of Goku's power was darkness. Goku had recovered completely, but when he opened his eyes, hundreds of planets would be destroyed since he did not control his new power. So this is the power that belonged to us since our birth. This is incredible. The power is barbaric. Sir Goku, are you all right? That's right, Whis. Don't worry. An apology for everything that happened a few days ago. You have been able to master all this power. This is amazing. I can't believe it. With your power, we'll be able to finish with any being that comes in front of us. I haven't mastered it completely, since Kakarot's power is pure negative energy, unlike the power I usually use, but I'm sure I'll master 100%. With that power, no matter where Miris and my father are, we'll be able to take revenge for all the time they had left us locked up in that damn place. That's right, Wiss, so it's time to train with even more determination than before. Goku would likewise join the training with the intention of increasing his power level even more. Meanwhile, in Universe Zero, Yoto was also very thoughtful because of all that power that Goku had unleashed that even made them tremble. No, this can't be happening. The power of that Saiyan is incomprehensible. I can't believe that he was able to humiliate Xeno the Annihilator with such incredible ease. Dracoria, on the other hand, with a very serious look, would send one of his henchmen to investigate all the life of that Saiyan. You are my priest. As my right hand, and also a Saiyan who has never known defeat, I want you to investigate all the power of that guy. As you command, my lord, it will be a pleasure. That warrior by the name of Akumo, and also the first Saiyan, would begin to increase his power to the maximum, so as not to be taken off guard. Akumo would increase a great part of all his power, with which he felt prepared to finish with the life of all the multiverse of Xenosama. At the moment, he began to move at a great speed through all the space. Akumo's power will be perfect to measure all the power of this Saiyan. If he dies, it means that this warrior is formidable. Meanwhile, on Xenosama's planet, Goku is meditating, since he has the necessary knowledge to know that Kakarot's transformation was dozens of times more powerful than his own. How the hell was he able to unleash all that power? We have the same body! But at that moment, an incredible tremor would shake everything around him. That's right, an incredible power was approaching, so much so that even though it didn't arrive, it began to cause destruction all over the universes. This is the power from Akumo, the first Saiyan to reach godlike status. That power you feel is gigantic, I can't believe it. Mr. Goku, do you think you have the power to face this great power? Don't worry, Whis, I have the power to end the life of that damned Akumo. But at that moment, a dark portal would form in the back of Xenosama. I want to check if you have the power to face me. You have the same power as the past while we have trained. Akuma would deliver an incredible blow to the stomach of Xenosama, who felt like the whole world was spinning around him. That's right, the power of that blow was so overwhelming, so much so that even large amounts of blood fell to the ground. 
How did you have all that power? You were a simple worm who begged for his life. I became powerful in order to return your humiliation. I'll never forget that I, being the most powerful Saiyan in all the universes, had to beg for mercy. Akuma would charge a large sphere of energy, throwing it at Xenosama, who was not able to do anything on this occasion, due to the great difference in powers. However, Goku with incredible speed would take Xenosama, putting him in a Xeno place. You have incredible speed, but that won't be necessary to defeat me, so you are the owner of the power that was felt just now. I don't know what you happened between you two, but I won't let you take Xenosama's life! You'll only do it if you can defeat me! <laughs> you are powerful, but you don't have the battle experience that I possess. Goku and his Ultra Instinct had launched himself against Akumo, with which, without any difficulty, would dodge each of his blows, being able to connect several blows in the same way, which made Goku bleed. Instantly, Akumo, the body of Goku, beginning to torture him, all his screams could be heard throughout the universes. The power of that warrior is incredible. I can't believe it. But I won't let Mr. Goku die. I'll help him. Whis would raise his power to the maximum, but it wouldn't be enough to get Akumo's attention. Whis would connect a great blow to Akumo's neck, not causing him any scratches. Akumo, with great attack, would send Goku to crash to a nearby planet, falling with multiple wounds all over his body. That's the power of a guardian angel possesses. You're just a piece of garbage. Akuma, in a matter of seconds, would begin to humiliate Whis, who was not able to do anything to defend himself since the difference in their powers was abysmal. Meanwhile, with Goku, his inner power, Kakarot, was furious since they had been humiliated in an amazing way, not allowing it. You know your heart is warm, but now I'll control the body. Kakarot would control Goku's body with ease. Goku being in terrible conditions, Kakarot observing how Akuma was humiliating Whis, would quickly increase his power and a great explosion would pass to the super dark Saiyan. Akuma would feel a great power, but when realizing that he was Goku, he would give a loud laugh. I don't know where you got much more power, but the result will be the same. You don't have the experience that I, the first Saiyan God, possesses. Kakarot was out saying a single word at an incredible speed that even Akuma was not able to observe anything had connected a powerful blow, which would make him crash into a planet, destroying it with the impact. At the moment Akuma stood up, a large mouthful of blood would come out of his mouth. This can't be happening. No worry besides Xenosama has ever made me bleed. I swear I'll finish you off, you bastard. I'll not leave a dust of you. Akuma, furious, would begin to exchange blows with Kakarot, which on this occasion were very evenly matched. Since Kakarot's experience was much greater than Goku's, at the moment Kakarot would connect a big blow to Akumo's stomach, but at the moment he would also receive a kick from Akumo, being sent both to fly. That's funny. You have the great power, but you won't be able to finish me. You're a simple worm compared to my greatness. Stop saying stupid things, you simple mortal. Akuma had launched himself against Kakarot, but to his surprise, this time Kakarot would hold his fist with only one of his hands. So with a terrifying look, he had made him shudder. That's right, Kakarot's power was even able to make Akuma the first Saiyan God panic. What are you? How do you have such authority? I don't know what I am, but I know that I'll end your pathetic life in this place. Since you dared to kill almost my body, and I cannot allow that. Die! Kakarot, with a great dragon attack, would be able to pulverize Akumo. Dracoria, who would observe everything that happened, was a little surprised to witness all the power that the Saiyan had. Then the life of that warrior would be a waste. Only have to manipulate him so that he becomes part of my elite warriors. Meanwhile, with Daishank and Amiris, both angels had increased their power to the limit of their capabilities, being able on this occasion to give and even battle Yota, who was a super god of the universe Zero. They have increased their powers in an amazing way. But they have still a lot to learn, so we'll train for a while, and they'll be ready to finish what they started. After all this time, I'll be able to finish with that damn monkey. I'll not let him finish with my dreams of becoming the most powerful being of the 12 universes. Father, together we'll put an end of the life of that dirty Saiyan and the traitor of Whis. On the other side of Universe Zero, Frieza had also obtained a great power with which he would be able to defeat Reich. But when Reich used his curse technique called Demonic Acceleration, Frieza would not be able to defeat him. That's right, Demonic Acceleration consisted in each energy vein transported twice the power that usually teleports, but in the same way his power was more than doubled. 
You have an amazing power, Frieza. You are just to control the energy drain. But we have prepared ourselves in case these warriors want to go to war with Universe Zero. Of course they do, Rake. But they will be no match for us. I want to be the one to end the life of that damned monkey. I'll tear him to pieces with my own hands. Instantly, Kakarot would approach Xenosama, and with a great sphere of golden energy, he'd be able to heal his wounds. Thank you! Don't thank me, you damn insect! Whis, it's time we go to Universe Zero and find out if the Daishank and Mir's bosses are still alive. Mr. Goku, are you sure you want to enter Universe Zero? It's time to do it, Whis, because if we don't do it now, we'll never do it. We have defeated an extremely powerful being. Nothing bad should happen. In that case, I'll go with you. I don't want to stay as a simple spectator. Then it's time to do it. The trio of warriors would begin to head at a great speed towards Universe Zero, where, having a much faster speed than Daishank and Amiris, they would arrive in a few minutes. The instant they arrived, the Destroyer Demon would get in their way, but Goku, without remorse, would grant him quickly a rain of blows, and with a great energy attack would reduce him to simple ashes. Daishank is still alive! I can feel his key, but he has grown in an incredible way. This will be a lot of fun. Are you sure, Mr. Goku? I don't feel my father's key. Goku at a great speed would even leave behind Whis and Xenosama would leave, because he wanted to end Daishenken's life and humiliate him in the worst way. Yota would realize that a power was approaching his territory, but before he's able to react, Goku would be behind it, releasing an amazing pressure, which made Daishenken and Mirrors fall to their knees, while Yota was not able to move freely. So you are alive, you damned priest! Today you'll meet your death, as I have been prepared for this day since I was locked in that damn place. No. No. I'm not able to breathe. What is this pressure? How were you able to evade the guardian of this universe? That good for other demon wasn't able to cope with me at all. I finished him off in the blink of an eye. You're a damn monster! Miris, we have no choice. Angelic Resonance! Both angels at the moment would unite, forming a single being, being able to free himself from the incredible pressure. Yota in the same way would raise his power to the maximum, releasing a pressure very similar to the pressure of Goku. I've been a long time getting to know you powerful warrior son Goku. Just as the rumors said, despite being a mere mortal, you are very powerful. And that, you haven't seen anything. This isn't even close to 100% of my full power. And if you're, you're telling me is true, it'd be better to end your life right now, because we can't allow a being more powerful than us to exist. Yota and the Archangel would throw themselves against Goku. He was able to defeat each of them without any difficulty. Goku would connect a great blow to Yota's face, sending him to fly to a planet, while with that Archangel, he would cut every part of his body to make him suffer the greatest agony. How do you have so much power? This can't be true. We are supreme angels. We train with the most powerful beings. You're a simple mortal. You're right. I'm a mere mortal. But I have been able to take my body to the limit. I don't let anyone choose my destiny. I'm capable of changing anything. At that moment, Whisk together with Xenosama would arrive, being a little surprised to see how Goku had been able to bend a god of Universe Zero and the fusion of the angels. So, they really were alive, because today will be the day of their death. You Whisk, being an angel. You prefer to turn your back on us? You're nothing but a damn disgrace to the whole divine world. Whiz, before he could say anything, an amazing pressure would be felt in the whole place. That's right, in that instant, Reich, the second most powerful god, would appear in the battlefield being able to connect a great blow to Goku, which would send him to fly to a planet destroying him completely when he fell. At the moment he stood up, large amounts of blood expelled every part of his body. Damn it! Who hit me? His power was supreme! So, you're the damn saying that Frieza was telling me about. A great power would be felt all over the place. That's right, Frieza was also releasing a great part of his power, making everyone retreat. I knew that you escaped an extremely powerful being and rescued you. Frieza rushed against Goku, but Xenosama would get in his way, and they would begin to exchange blows. Frieza's power was amazing, since he was capable of giving an even battle to a king of everything. While Whis would begin to exchange blows with the Archangel, Goku in that instant would stand up, accessing his negative energy state. That's right, Goku would access the Super Saiyan 4 Dark, with which the negative power that he released was a bestiality, since his whole body and heart was pure evil. 
I hope you're ready, because now I'll not hold back in the slightest. Goku at an incredible speed would begin to exchange blows with Rike, which was much more powerful than Yota, but Goku would quickly begin moving to be able to dodge a great attack, which had been thrown treacherously by Yota. Damn you! You want to die so much? Now I'll fulfill your wish! I'll finish you to totally confront this guy! You're no use to me! Goku with his aura in the form of death would create a scythe of negative energy, which would be directed towards Yota, which was able to dodge it, but a purple scythe was approaching from his blind spot being able to cut him in two. Large amounts of blood would fall to the ground. At the time, Goku of a great attack would disintegrate it completely. Now yes, it's just you and me. We could fight without distractions. Rack a little surprised would use his demonic acceleration technique, increasing his power in a great way, but he had not surprised Goku in the least. When he dodged one of his blows, Raik was astonished since he, his speed had increased so much, being able to dodge that blow by pure luck. Goku would begin to take the battle much more seriously, beginning to connect hundreds of blows throughout the body of Raik, which in each exchange of blows made him spit large amounts of blood due to such a bestial attack of the Saiyan. What are you? You're neither a god nor a mortal. You're something that transcends something far beyond what we know. That's none of your business. Now die! But you won't go to the other world alone, because now I'll end your life and that of your disciple, Frieza. A dragon will pulverize Reich, and in the same way, hundreds of rays would completely disintegrate Frieza, leaving no trace of him. Instantly, Goku would approach the Archangel, who was terrified to witness how that Saiyan ended the lives of two super gods. Now at last, I'll be able to have my revenge. Goku would stretch out one of his hands and with a great burst of energy would lift him into the air. And at the moment, an incredible explosion would be witnessed, leaving no trace of the merger. Goku with his great power was able to finish with the life of two super gods and even with the life of the fusion of Mirs and Daishenken Sama. Nevertheless, none of this had finished since Dracoria, the most powerful god of all the Universe Zero, was still alive and he had witnessed absolutely everything that happened. Savior the victory while you can, dirty Saiyan, because from now on I'll prepare to end your miserable life. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of everything, there was absolutely no one, however, hundreds of rays began to be observed, beginning to form the silhouette of a new being, which his power was rising in an incredible way. So it is, at the time of Xenosama eliminate the seal of his power, eliminated a much older seal, which held captive a powerful warrior, the guy villain of all multiverses, the being who ended the life of 24 universes, that is, this guy was able to end the life of an entire omniverse. However, Xenosama's father, sacrificing himself, was able to seal him for eternity. However, when Xenosama removed his seal, a small portion of energy can be redirected to that subject, which was enough to set himself free. At the time, he could see a subject of human appearance, but his beauty was incredible. A long golden hair, however, when he opened his eyes, thousands of planets throughout the multiverse of Xenosama had exploded, which would draw the attention of all the gods. Mr. Vermouth, as you, the most powerful god of the twelve universes, have total disposition of the absence of Xenosama. Margarita, organize an emergency meeting of every god and angel to gather in the realm of the whole. Margarita would inform all the other gods and angels who would quickly go to the kingdom of everything, but when all the gods arrived, an incredible pressure would fall on their bodies, which fell to the ground on their knees, including the angels. What the hell is this? I'm not able to move. The pressure is similar to the pressure of a king at all, but this can't be happening. The great Xenosama is not to be found. Well, so simple gods gather in this place. But, you damn cat, how dare you compare me to a simple bastard like Zaiku's son. All the angels were surprised since they knew the presence of the father of Xenosama. However, no god had recognized that name. At that moment, Vermouth, the most powerful god, was able to communicate telepathically with the trio of warriors who were in Universe Zero. Great Xenosama, powerful subjects appeared in this palace. The power he possesses is incredible. We're not able to do anything against him. His simple pressure crushes us. Don't worry, at this very moment, we'll head there. Instantly, the trio of warriors, with incredible speed, began to move through all the space, time, and which would enter the curiosity of Dracoria, who was watching everything that had happened. 
Dracoria, with his ability to change dimension, was able to reach the Kingdom of Everything long before the trio of warriors, being surprised by the power that the being in front of him was giving off. If your kings don't show up right now, this would be a blood festival, because I plan to kill each and every one of you. At that moment, Ryuk would begin to hit the guardian angel. Goku, with incredible speed, was able to rescue him, being able to dodge him with great difficulty. Who the hell are you? We just ended Daishaken's life and now you show up to end your pathetic life. <laughs> so you're the protectors of this whole multiverse. Your powers are pathetic. Even though I don't even have 50% of my power, I'm able to defeat you. Goku, a little annoyed with Ryuk's words, rushed against the god who, despite connecting a big punch in Ryuk's face, was not able to move him an inch. I'll teach you the correct way to attack. Ryuk, with a simple slap, would send Goku to fly, even making him lose his transformation and fall into the ground on the verge of death with multiple wounds. Kakarot, who was watching everything that had happened, would be surprised and furious. Now I'll be the one that dominates the body! I won't let that miserable bastard make fun of us! Kakarot would take control of the body accessing the Divine Super Saiyan, but his hair was red, just like the time he fought against Xenosama. Gods and angels, get out of here! Goku-sama, we're not able to move because of his incredible pressure. G Kakarot, in that instant, would release an incredible pressure of red color that could be seen all over the place. Being able to neutralize the pressure of Ryuk, instantly all the beings of the Kingdom of Everything went to their respective universes. Well, well, so you have the necessary power to neutralize my pressure. It seems that you are something different from the being from whom I fought before. That's right, I'm the perfect part, and I don't mind ending your life in a few seconds since I won't trust myself. Kakarot at that moment had launched himself against the being, who simply kept standing in the same place. At the moment, they began to collide their fists at incredible speeds. I can only see a few flashes. I don't know who has the advantage. The power of that guy is incredible. I'm not able to assimilate it, but who is he? Even Dracoria was very surprised by the power that the warrior was releasing. After only five minutes of battle, we could observe how large amounts of blood fell, while Ryuk had almost no scratches. That's right, Kakarot was wounded with every exchange of blows. Damn it! How is it possible this miserable trash is so much more powerful than me? You really are a powerful being, but against me, you still lack power. But before you become a headache, I'll end your life right now. Kakarot, for the first time, felt rear terror, being able to observe death from the aura of the warrior. Instantly, Kakarot, with a technique far beyond his understanding, was able to cross the same dimensional loop, along with Whis and Xenosama. Ryuk would try to stop them, but it was impossible. Hell, those bastards have been able to leave. But it doesn't matter, they won't be able to do anything, since I sealed each one of their energy veins of the warrior. But you, the one who's hiding, don't you think it's time to show your face? Dracoria, very surprised since he had been discovered, would stand in front of Ryuk. Just like you, I want to end the life of that Saiyan. Or rather, I want to end the life of all the divine beings of this multiverse. Well, well. It seems you have the same goals as me. So we'll be great allies, but before you join me, you just show me that you're something powerful. You don't have to worry about that. I'm the most powerful god of the universe Zero, which was cataloged for only having phenomena with incredible powers. Over before Dracoria was able to continue speaking, Ryuk would release an incredible pressure, which made Dracoria fall to the ground, which was not even able to move. You're nothing more than a simple worm. That saying without calling himself a god was able to support my pressure. He was even able to neutralize it. Dracoria, upon realizing that he had been compared to a simple Saiyan, would become so enraged that he would be able to release his true power, with which he was able to move through his pressure. However, at that moment, Ryuk would increase his power a little more, with which his power would also increase, causing Dracoria to be knocked out of combat. You're a powerful, and you have the body of a warrior. I, the King of Annihilation, will give you a great training. Meanwhile, the remote place of the 12 universes, all the warriors would arrive, but all the body of Goku was in terrible condition. Zeno-sama was realizing all his eternal sea of energy, was able to observe how that subject with both blows had contaminated all his spiritual sea. I'm sorry, friend Goku. I know this'll hurt you, but it's the only way to save you. At that moment, Zeno-sama with his great precision would begin to grant hundreds of blows through the body of Goku. With each blow, great loud cries of pain, because they were not physical blows since 
the blows that the king of everything was using were blows to his spiritual base, which was an agony a hundred times greater. After one hour, all the power of Goku would be neutralized and would begin to flow naturally. This had been very dangerous. That guy must be an incredibly powerful being, as to be able to defeat Goku and even Kakarot. That's right, Zeno-sama. We better get together with all the other gods and angels to come up with a plan to kill each one of them. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, Dracoria had woken up, feeling very confused. What has happened? I don't understand anything at all. You, despite calling yourself the most powerful god, you have the same power as that Saiyan. But don't worry, from today until those bastards show their face, you and I will train to increase our power even more. I understand training myself, but you, aren't you invincible? You were able to defeat that Saiyan that took the lives of two super gods, and you made it look easy. This is not all my power. The other 50% of my power is destroyed by the seal of the cursed Zaiku. But I plan to get my maximum power again. Returning with Goku and the others, all the gods and angels had gathered in the place where Xenosama and Whis were. At this moment, we are not at your disposal. We must train our powers of our own free will. Great Xenosama, it seems that the new villain is Ryuk. Whis at that moment would be worried, even his look would change his expression quickly. I knew that the guy was an exceptional warrior, but I never thought it was Ryuk. Who's Ryuk? Why does everyone seem to know him but me? Great Xenosama, his father Zaiku-sama forbade us to talk about the warrior, but it seems that the situation warrants it. Whis would tell him the whole story between Zaiku-sama and Ryuk, how Zaiku-sama had to sacrifice his life to be able to seal Ryuk. So because of that miserable bastard, I wasn't able to meet my father. I swear that no matter what happens, I'll end his pathetic life. At that moment, Goku was able to wake up and was surprised to see how he was in his base state after hundreds of years. This is incredible! I never thought I would return to my base state. What happened? You were defeated by that guy, and even Kakarot was defeated. He used a great negative energy in his fists, which caused great damage to you. But we were able to neutralize the dark energy of your spiritual sea. You were able to defeat Kakarot? I can't believe it! I thought that Kakarot would be able to defeat him because he had a better command of the body than me. It seems that the warrior we face now will be a very powerful being. No matter how difficult it is, we'll be able to defeat him. If we all work together, we will. Meanwhile, in the place similar to the underworld itself, Ryuk and Dracoria were also training, and Dracoria was always on the verge of death. But his power was also increasing in an unbelievable way. You're really something, since there are very few warriors capable of withstanding my power. There are only a few warriors who are capable of withstanding my blows. I don't think that I'll be another one of your bunch. I'm gonna finish with those damned ones and I don't want to stay behind you. At that moment again, both warriors were beginning to exchange blows all over the place where they were moving. That's right, at that moment, Dracoria would fall to the ground very wounded, vomiting large amounts of blood. That's enough for today. We still need to have an arduous rest. Meanwhile, in all the 12 universes, an incredible power was being released. That's right, at that moment, Kakarot was releasing an overwhelming power as he felt humiliated by that warrior. Goku's power was increasing in an unreal way, so much so that the dimensions themselves were altering. That's right, Kakarot was furious, being defeated in the most humiliating way by Ryuk. The power he gave off began to destroy all the planets of the 12 universes. I don't care what I have to do. I swear, I'll return that humiliation multiplied by a hundred. No, by a thousand. You'll prefer death. In that instant, Kakarot would be out of combat. At that moment, Xenosama was also very thoughtful for everything that has happened. Because due to his fault, that being had been released, a being that was even more powerful than Dracoria. Whis, I've decided to merge with my friend Goku since it's the only way for all of us to be able to survive. Great Xenosama, are you sure of what you just told me? We don't know if you'll be able to return to normal. If he doesn't return to normal, it doesn't matter, since he always lives in the body of my best friend. There's no one better than him to be the one worthy of bearing my power. Understood, sir. If that's your request, that's what we'll do. All of Xenosama's internal energy was being channeled into a single point in his entire body, 
so that the fusion would be much easier. And at the moment of joining with Goku, his power would multiply a hundred times more, as he would be compressed. He would need to expand and with this, he would awaken all of Goku's hidden potential. At that moment, Goku would regain consciousness and observe great destruction throughout the kingdom of everything. So Goku would agree to the Ultra Instinct. However, at that time, Whis would explain everything that happened to Goku, which would be very surprised but would accept the request of his best friend. My friend, Zenny, I promise that we'll win this war. With your power, I'm not allowed to lose. I know that I'll succeed, so you don't have to worry. I'm not worried. I know that you'll be able to govern this multiverse in a better way than I governed it. I trust you. A great light would begin to cover all that place, and in the same way all the essence of Xenosama was entering the body of Goku, which was being charged with an incredible power, being so much that even his body seemed to explode. Mr. Goku, you must access the Ultra Instinct Phase 3 to be able to dominate all that power, otherwise it will explode. I will not die. I have a pending revenge against that damn Ryuk. I swear, I'll annihilate him, and I'll do it for the sacrifice of my friend Zeno-sama. Goku, accessing the Ultra Instinct Phase 3, with which all his spiritual sea would begin to expand in an incredible way. So much so would be the power of the great Zeno-sama that even several marks on his face appeared. That's right, were the marks of the king of everything. The power of Goku would even be perceived in the dimension where both gods were training. Damn. Whose power is this? It's a gigantic power. I can't believe it. What's wrong, Ryuk? I'm not able to feel anything at all. If you're not able to feel this power, that means that this power is out of this dimension. So beings like me were the only ones that can feel it. However, all over that place, an incredible pressure would fall on both warriors. Ryuk was able to remain standing, unlike Dracoria, who was completely bent and fell to his knees. What is this? Whose pressure is this? I'm not able to move. Meanwhile, Goku had completely merged with Xenosama, which this time released an incredible power. So much was his power that he was even able to reach where both gods were and Goku had not noticed. The power that flows through me is incredible. With this power, I'll be able to defeat him. You are right, Mr. Goku. You currently possess an incredible power but don't forget that the energy drain must be overwhelming. That's exactly what I was thinking. So we'd better have our last training session before we fight with those bastards. That's right. At that moment, Goku, together with Whis, would enter one of the forbidden rooms of the Kingdom of Everything, in which both would begin with their furative training. Returning with both gods, the pressure would disappear completely. What was that? I can't understand it. My power is not low at all, and yet I was not able to stand up to that incredible power. Dracoria, I don't know whose power it is, but it was a gigantic power. I would dare to say that your power was on par with my maximum power. But that can't be. You're in existence that can be considered omnipotent level. Even Zaiku-sama, Zuno-sama's father, had to sacrifice himself to be able to seal it. And a simple worm can't have the same power as you. Although it pains me to admit it, it's the truth. A guy's power doesn't lose with mine, so we'd better train much harder so we won't be simple worms against that being. At that moment, Ryuk and Dracoria threw themselves against each other to be able to withstand great pressure and damage to their bodies. After a few months in which they continued with that training, both gods began to mediate and even train in different places. That is, each one of them was dominating 100% of their techniques. Meanwhile, returning to Goku and Whis, both warriors had equally carried out an incredible training. However, they had only focused on the energy drain of Goku's body, noticing how every day Goku's body was filled with much greater power. So that's what the great Xenosama meant. Flashback. When Goku's able to master all my power, he'll be able to unlock 100% of my true power of Zen the Annihilator. Send the Annihilator? That's right, Whis. I was able to end the lives of six super gods. For that very reason, they called me that. And since my power is unlimited, the more Goku controls it, the more power he'll be able to unleash. Is your power infinite, Great Zeno sama Of course not. But only Goku will be able to let my power know no limit. And a flashback. So Goku, all this time, his goal was to master all of Xenosama's demonic power. 
The power that Xenosama possessed was incredible, but it seems to have no limit. But I'll be able to master it completely because I won't let those bastards have the slightest chance. That's right, Mr. Goku. They are the last two warriors. By finishing all this, we'll be able to revive all the others with the Super Dragon Balls. Quickly, Goku's training with Wiz had to come to an end. At that moment, both warriors would leave the dimension. However, Goku wasn't an Ultra Instinct, but even with that power, he was able to shake all 12 universes. Apparently, I've become too powerful, and even this entire multiverse was not able to withstand it. Goku, with a perception of his ki much more developed, had felt the power of both gods, and together with Whis, they began to move through each of the timelines. At the moment of arriving, they appeared in front of both gods, who were a little surprised. How are they able to know where we were? That's none of your business, but this time we'll be able to kill them both and bring peace to all the universes. Dracoria at that moment, without waiting for anything, had launched himself against Whis. Both of them would start exchanging blows at incredible speeds, while Goku and Ryuk were staring at each other. No matter how long you've been training, you absolutely nothing compared to me, since I'm even considered an omnipotent being. I don't care what you are and aren't, because today will be the day of your death. Neither you nor anyone else will be able to avoid it, because I have enough power to finish you off. <laughs> Did you say you have enough power? Ha! <laughs> You're a mere mortal. Goku at that time, an, a lightning speed would be able to connect a great blow, which this time had made him fall to a planet, destroying himself completely. By such power, even had been able to cross dimensions with that blow. Ryuk would begin to vomit large amounts of blood, not being able to assimilate what had happened. What? How are you able to cause this damage in one blow? This can't be. You don't know what can happen. Now this will be the place of your death! Ryuk at that moment would raise all his power with which each planet of the 12 universes was disintegrated completely. Ryuk would continue with his power increase, which even left a little surprised Goku. If it weren't for the power of Xenosama, I'd never be able to face this guy. His power is of another level. Ryuk at the moment would create an incredible explosion, which would cause great waves of fire, and even did not allow a clear vision. Ryuk, with flashing speed, began to exchange blows with Goku, which was not far behind. That's right, the power of Goku was so big that it was equal to the power of Ryuk. Ryuk, in that instant, would connect a great blow, making him fall to a planet. But before he celebrates his blow, a great claw of energy had been able to make him fall to the ground, detaching every part of his body. Large amounts of blood fell to the ground. Heh, <laughs> what do you think of that? Weren't you able to read my moves? Let me admit that this is not my full power. But before I finish you off, I'll show you the power that you'll never achieve, no matter how hard you try. Meanwhile, Whis against Dracoria both seemed to have very even battle. But in each exchange of blows, Whis was injecting celestial energy in Dracoria's spiritual sea. The more the battle went on, the worse Dracoria's body was in worse conditions. What's wrong with me? Why is my body behaving strangely? All well, the power was to demonstrate in this place. Could it be because of the damage of my body? It doesn't matter, I'll finish with him. Whis would realize that Dracoria was no longer a rival for him, so in that precise moment, he would connect hundreds of blows to Dracoria. Falling to the ground very badly wounded, Whis, in that moment, would throw his great attack, which Dracoria would try to resist it, being impossible. That's right, the power condensed in the attack of Whis was a barbarity. For every being you've exterminated, I, the Super Guardian of Universe 7, will exterminate you. The incredible power of Whis had been able to reduce to simple atoms the whole body of Dracoria. At the moment, Whis would notice how Goku was increasing his power in an incredible way. That's right, Goku was accessing his form of King of Everything. Ryuk, when feeling all that power, would be surprised when realizing that it was very similar to the power he had felt months ago. Were you the owner of that power you felt months ago? So you already felt all my power, but on that occasion I wasn't able to control it. Now with all this power I'll end your pathetic life! Goku with a great speed would give him millions of blows, leaving Ryuk very hurt who would be very surprised to realize that the owner of all this gigantic power that he felt months ago was that Saiyan. Damn mortal, don't think you'll be able to do anything against me. You don't have the power to finish me off. 
Ryuk in that instant would begin to absorb all the energy of all the universes, beginning to fill with an incredible power all his body. That's why Ryuk's body seemed to explode with so much power, but at that moment, Ryuk would channel that power in a great attack. If you want to dodge it, but this whole pathetic multiverse would be blown to pieces, and not even the Zama Dragon would be able to revive them. This power is atomic. I don't care if this power is called atomic. I'm the king of everything, and I have the power to disintegrate everything in my path. And this will be no exception. Goku in the same way would begin to channel a great part of all his power. At that moment, all the power of Goku began to shoot in an incredible way. Ryuk would launch his incredible attack while Goku in the same way would launch a great power. At the instant of colliding for two minutes, a great explosion would be created all over the place, which would begin to turn Ryuk into dust. So this is the end of me. I never thought I would be defeated by a simple Saiyan. The simple distortion of the attacks would be so powerful that it would end the life of Ryu. Goku would go quickly to his dimensional change to not be affected, leaving with Whis to another universe. After a few weeks, both reunited the Super Dragon Balls. What is your wish? I can fulfill one of your wishes. I want you to revive the god Beerus and all the good-hearted beings who were affected by our revenge. That's a very easy wish to fulfill. Zama will fulfill the wish of the Saiyan with great ease and in the same way Beerus would be again the god of his universe, while Goku would become the new king of everything. With the power that lives within me, I promise to protect this multiverse. Nothing will happen to it while I rule it. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.